All right, let's team up with Nightwind. Where is he? What? This guy is Nightwind? Really? Or is he Nightwind? Weird. I thought he was supposed to be here. You? You're Nightwind? <laughs> so you're the scrubs who have been hired by the city guard to do me in, right? Nobody messes with Nightwind and lives. Take it easy. We don't want any trouble. Fear of the Lightbringers sent us. We need your help. You're working with the Lightbringers? Let me guess. You want the, you want the Gaia sanctuaries, uh, don't you? We need to get into the Order's archives. Can you do it? I know a way. A disused maintenance tunnel in the sewers. I've used it to help Lightbringers get in and out plenty of times. I won't get you right into the archives, but at the very least you'll avoid attracting any attention on your way in. That's just what we need. Fira told us your price is steep, though. Just how much are we talking exactly? Look, to be honest, I'm just glad you're not more adventurers who have come to try and kill me. I'm in a good mood today, so I'll cut you a deal. I'll get you into Gaia's Sanctuary for free, but in return, I'm done with the Lightbringers. Things are getting too close for comfort in this city. So how about it? You've got a deal. When can we leave? Whenever you like. I'd rather get this over with as soon as possible, if I'm honest. Just come and see me when you're ready. Hmm. Yep, my last chance to get ready before going into a deep dungeon, huh? Alright, this should be good. Care to get going? Yes. Okay, let's get this over with. Just follow me and try to keep your head down. Too bad we'll never be able to get in this hideout. I don't think there's a way to get in, is there? They say he lost his key somewhere, but I haven't found it. Looks like Nightwind's secret passage worked. Nobody knows we're here yet. Now we're here, we better not leave without the ancient records. We may not get another chance. Okay. What was that? It's a ticking sound. Oh no. Oh. Oh, I see now. That could be dangerous. Oh, should I save in. The Whatever, it's not that far away from the Lightbringer base. I can handle it. So what's down here? It's Patronus and Seraph. Oh shoot, I don't think I have dark spells. Uh, or in vain. Everything resists physical attacks. Yeah, summon Sarah is going to be useless against these guys, I can tell. Very well, let's just burn them and hope for the best. Bullet time. Ugh. Are these guys have max evasion or something? Hmm. Vane, you're gonna need some quick linking. Oh no, don't hypnotize Vane. Energy bomb. Nine hundred experience, and since this is hard mode, I don't think there's gonna be much gold. Yeah. Of course, I can always summon Damara until everyone is fully healed. In this case, there's supposed to be some way I could undo the mechanism. There it is. I think that's it. Say of Continental Final Volume 3. No, that's not it, is it? Nothing to subterfuge. Angel Tears. Modern World Atlas Volume 2. Hmm. It 
So let's go north first. I see something there. Is that the one I have to subterfuge? Let's try it. And with that, I can now go anywhere. Hmm. Guild Tome? Oh, it's one of these black belts again. Of course, they're weak to physicals, it would seem. Summon Jin. Okay, bullet time, I think it has an inherent accuracy penalty. So I'm just gonna try using just an, a different skill. Yes, that was a good idea. You should really state in the description if the skill has an inherent accuracy penalty. Just so we know if it's worth using in a certain situation. Ancient Spear. 20% chance of curse on the enemy, but it's not as fast as the trident. In this game, speed is pretty important. Hmm. Nowhere to go but up. What? That is such a weird location for a switch, you know? Wow. Also, I need to... Oh, they, get, they ambushed me. Yikes. Pull this and... Um, let's see. Healing crystal. That's ominous. Hmm. Okay, now I just look for another lever. Somewhere. Not there. Okay, these are just treasures. Oh, hey, I didn't, I didn't notice this path before. This must be new. Magical Properties of the Weave, Volume 1. I'm pretty sure the numbering on the books is going to be important somehow, as well as their titles. Hmm. No, I'm just going to go equip that calming heart for now. Any switches in the beginning? Nope. Oh, there we go. There's one. I am gonna have to make sure- Since Gaius is likely to leave my party at some point due to me picking the Lightbringers, I need to make sure that uh, one of my remaining party members can learn Subterfuge. So I better hold on to that AP. Even the most basic Subterfuge will be very helpful, of course. Okay, that leaves one more somewhere. I can just get my bearings. We've been here before. Okay, that should be it. That should be the last one. Yep, I can see that staircase open now. Will that lead directly to the boss? Who knows? I should probably save. Okay, down we go. Hmm. 
so... Seems this chest is suspiciously unguarded. A little too good to be true, huh? So, what's the trick here? Three dials, tinker with it. Looks like each shell has different words written on them. What could this mean? The numbering and the titles. Weave, Atlas, and Fauna. Chest is unlocked now. And I still get one last chance to save, huh? All right, let's see. Hope all my stuff is in order. I have no idea what to really expect from these bosses anymore. Just gonna hope my equi my generic equipment is good enough. Ancient records. Who? Apostates, you shall be sent to Gaia for your treachery. How did you guys even teleport here? Is this a security system of some sort? Where they can the guards can teleport to any part of the dungeon? A boss battle? Paladins? More like paladins! Oh, she doesn't really have any good AoE types. Spirit Fetus, shorter attention! Quick Link King. Oh no, they can curse me. Hmm. My best bet here, since there, it's an AOE situation, Light Flare. One, of, one out of three ain't too bad compared to what I usually get. Energy Bomb. Forget about stealing from them. I just need to speed up my characters and. Ugh. Okay, I'm buffed up and ready to go. Let's see. I want to see if I can stun any of you. That would make things a little bit easier. Resistance? What? Could it be they resist normal elements? Oh, shoot. I may have to use uh, uh, use a debilitating summons for that one. That's right, Jessica has really high aggro for some reason. Unfortunately, Luca just got hit with it too. Let's see, antibiotic on Luca since she's our attacker. Wait, did it not work? Oh shoot, maybe antibiotic doesn't work on curse. It's Mythalaria I had to use. Shoot. Energy bombs. Speed up. Vein. Jen. You're neutral to fire. Hmm, crumble and be of no use to, to me here. Maybe sealing word is a magic type? Wait, what? Why did it add a cold weakness? Is that the price I have to pay for using reflections? Oh shoot, they can heal each other. That's so weird. Is it a glitch? That seems really random. Maybe I shouldn't use that skull anymore. Since I have no idea how it actually works right now. It looks like I can kill them faster than they can heal. That's... something. I really need to learn healing haze for myself at some point, too. Hmm. 
They resist physicals, of course. And they're all weak to fire now, so they don't stand a chance. Let's give these records back to Fira. Oh man, I need to cure that immediately. The souping light work. Good. Summon Damara. Coming harp. Okay, we're ready to bolt. Bird, make one last check for any items. Okay, now we can get out of here and hopefully no one will be blocking our way through this narrow hallway. That would be perfect for a boss battle. Oh, we s Somehow got out of there. Cool. Hmm. Well, I highly doubt this is the final guild tome, but might as well hand it over. Yep, still ongoing. There's been some real shifty looking types coming out in here at night lately. I throw them out, but they say they're friends of the Lightbringers. Howdy there, what can I get you? Oh, that was strange. I guess I should, probably should have gotten that if I had talked to him during the day before talking to Nightwind. Weird. Hmm. Speaking of which, will Nightwind still be around here? Nope, I don't see him at all. Yeah. Guess he decided to skedaddle so he doesn't have to get caught up in all this conflict. That's strange, I don't remember there being so many sailors. The last merchant ship from Treble brought some mithril ore. That stuff's strong as heck and lightweight too. Last I heard, the sea guard was going to have it all made into weapons and armor to help defend the sea from the undead outbreaks. Once upon this time, this harbor was a bustling trade hub for the region. Ever since the darkness took over the main continent, though, that's all changed. The luckier ships come in port to port more than once a month these days. As you can see, the harbor has started to fall into disrepair. And if there's some mithril, maybe that'll show up in the weapons shop? Hmm. We gotta report in. I don't know why the mercantile skill takes a while to kick in like that. Okay, hmm. it's gonna be story stuff once I talk to them. I'm happy to see you return in one piece. Miras and his dark disciples are ruthless enemies. Don't even know if this is even the real Fira. She shouldn't have been able to escape West Home so easily. Did Lionel bring her back somehow? No. We're back with the ancient records, but it wasn't easy. You hand over the ancient records. I didn't hear any tr of any trouble at the sanctuary, so I assume our thief made gun is offered to get you inside unnoticed. I'll bet his services didn't go cheap. In our case, we have the ancient records, and Miris is none the wiser. We can make a move on the lore shard right away. Actually, we killed two of his guards, so I'm pretty sure he's gonna suspect something. So that's it then. We're ready to go to the Technopolis. Do you have a ship? At last, all that would accomplish it to, is to alert Miris to our presence in the city. You'll have to find a charter. Oof, good luck. Most of the ships these days are either Order's Navy or property of the Iron Guild. There are still merchant ships that sail between trouble in here. One of them may be willing to help. And missing some stuffy old merchant captain to take us out to a random spot in the ocean isn't going to come cheap. Unfortunately, we don't have much of a choice in the matter. The Dark Disciples have made sure our resources in this city are limited. Ask around the Harbor District. There must be someone who, whom you can charter. The lives of everybody in Legionwood depend on it. 
Remember to take this precursor key with you. While you were gone, Ellen made sure it was in working order. It looks like an iPhone. It seems to work on magical feedback loop from the Technopolis. There isn't any special trick to it. It should activate automatically as you approach the site. If only it were really that easy. Okay. Really hope we can trust them. I have a feeling that maybe this Fura is a fake created by Castoff or is Castoff somehow. Yeah. After all, there's no, she had no way of getting back. No lore shards. And I'm pretty sure Lionel didn't get the idea of traveling back to West Home. So yeah, she should be deader than dead. And there's no way she could have reincarnated either because she died in West Home. And therefore could not return to the Weave. Plus the Weave would have been corrupted by Castoff, so I don't think anyone would be able to reincarnate. Okay, they're saying the same thing as usual. My, the watchmaker probably won't have anything new to say either. We've gone out fishing, we'll be back home in the evening. Wait, what's this shiny thing on here? The table's covered in springs and cogwheels, looks like he might be a clockmaker. Oh, I was hoping it'd be that secret, the key to the uh, to that one guy, uh, to, uh, to Nightwind's house. Okay. Come on, men. Put your backs into it. I want th that cargo hold cleared within the hour. Aye, right, something I can help you with, Lass? It looks like you're the only ship in port at the moment. I'm looking for a charter. I am available if you need a passage across the sea. Where are you planning on heading? Hand over the ancient records. The sunken Technopolis? You must be a mad woman. The place is a myth, nothing more. Oh, they do acknowledge we're man or woman here. Those are official records from the Trevelyan Empire. The Technopolis is real. It says right on there. Well, th these old papers don't mean anything at all. But don't worry, I'll take you out there, even though it'll all be for nothing. The sea's dangerous these days, so don't like wild goose chases. Oh, crap. I si shoot, I not think it this would- I thought- I didn't think this would escalate already. Okay. The offer still stands, so I can still use speech whenever I want later. I'll just keep waiting or I'll- I'm just gonna explore around the city in case there's any <laughs> new quests. Recent trade shipments have bolstered a stock of shops in the market district. Perhaps you should pay the visit. Ah, yes. Good thing I did that before trying to waltz off to m Technopolis. That could have been a disaster if I went in underprepared. And I'll definitely have to use the speech, uh, the speech option to save on money. Hmm. Free meal. All right. A friend of mine at the Champions Arena told me to keep an eye out for new contestants. There's plenty of cash to be made if you're interested. Uh, every year, the Champions Arena recruit a bunch of fighters for a grand tournament. It's a dangerous pastime, but if you're lucky, you'll walk away with some great rewards. My old friend Scipio is in charge of registering new combatants. Just tell him I sent you, and he'll sign you up quick smart. Where is he? I... if I can't access this... No, maybe that place is located... Maybe it's located outside the city. That could be it. Also, I'm gonna have to go wait until morning so I can get into some shops and see what new stuff they have. Okay, turns out this little building all the way out here in the wild, that's the arena. Okay, I guess I better... Guess I can buy stuff from you. Yeah, all the basics here. It's like a mini town. 200 kaifers for a single run? Forget it. Oh, what's this? A nerd guild tome. Nice. 
Back in the early days of the town guard, we used to make a game out of hunting the undead. It helped the men stay fit and kept the monster population down too. Thinking about it, this arena is just that on a larger scale. Even without realizing it, those who fight here are doing guys' work. Serious, you're right. When it comes down to fight, uh, it comes time to fight the darkness for real. These gladiators won't fall so easily. I can't help but think of my adventuring days, being young and hungry for recognition. I'm glad this place didn't exist. See, getting their got get this is a good chance to get their affection back up. I'm glad I found it. A place where people willingly choose to fight monsters. There's something about that which just seems so strange to me. Elwin often told me it's in our nature to fight, but I never thought people would do so it for sport. Confident. Nikola is training for when real battles begin. These people are doing their part to keep the darkness at bay. We fought creatures these people wouldn't even be able to imagine. We should show them how it's done. Yes, get everyone's influence up, especially Astrid's. Fighting monsters for treasure, huh? Well, I can't say it's that different to thievery. Steal from enough people and you'll have to fight something eventually. Snide. Hmm, get paid and risk getting eaten. Sounds like fun. It's nice to know that not all legitimate work has to be boring. And last but not least... Astrid. It's just money, sure, but at least the gladiators here are fighting for something. They're in control of their own destinies, and not many people can say that. You either live to fight another day or your monster food. Easy terms to live by. Whenever we fight, there's so much at stake, but here, there's something comforting about what happens here. Not quite enough to get you to 20, but hopefully it'll be enough to keep you from running off. Hmm. Now I gotta look for- I, I, maybe, I wonder if the inn back at the other- back at the market district will also have dialogue. You might think playing men against- uh, ping men against monsters is barbaric at first, but it gives the people hope. Watching heroes triumph over evil shows that the people of the darkness can be beaten. Hey, th those are heretical words. How did the- how did those ho uh, dark disciples not come down on you yet? It doesn't hurt that a well-fought battle makes a good spectacle either. I saw Sc Scipio Servants Ring in this year's grand prize. It's an incredibly rare runecraft unlike anything I've seen before. I, pr I probably need to do this- finish this whole gauntlet before doing the- uh, doing the final boss of the chapter. The champion may look slow, but be careful. He wills that sword of his like a demon. I wasn't ready for him, and before I knew it, bam, he hit me three times in one attack. Maybe I should blind him. Every year, people flock to this arena to try their hand at defeating the champion. I haven't been here since I was just a lad, and I still haven't seen anybody succeed. I'm also going to have to use that cantrip on him. Feebling cantrip. The ultimate deep buff. The problem is I also need Vayne to make sure Vayne survives. Alright, let's just go eat a quick bite and... Kick some ass. Yeah! Hold on, wait. Gaius, you need to make sure you're equipped with something useful. Swift shoes, so you can stay on top of our healing. Damn it, I didn't have him learn any revive skills, so hopefully they don't forbid items. We'd be screwed if... Otherwise, and I might if if I if they do forbid items, I'm just gonna have to grind until Gaius learns revive. Oh, were you looking for Scipio? The matches are finished for for today. So morning. Shoot, I should not have eaten yet. Okay, there he is. All the NPCs here are the same. Well, hello there. Welcome to the Champions Arena. I'm Scipio, proprietor and entertainer extraordinaire. You're just in time for this year's main event. Think you can slay monsters like a pro? Sign up as a contestant and golden glory await you. That said, I'm duty bound to inform you that there's a serious risk of death or bodily harm. You lose against a monster and that's it, bub. But let's not think about that. Now, what can I do for you today? Are you here to fight or are you just here to waste my time? Rules. It's simple. You go up against monsters in the arena. You're not pushovers, but if you win, you get epic loot. If you manage to win free battles, you get a shot at the champion. Beat him, and the grand prize is yours. As for the actual fighting, anything goes, but there's a twist. At the, each of, at the start of each battle, you'll be inflicted with a randomly chosen handicap. It's to keep things interesting. Oh, shoot. A random ch handicap? So there could actually be a, a, a no, a, a, an item forbidding handicap, or maybe just plain status effects. 
Sign up. The barkeep in Port Alexis sent us. Sign us up. Ah, some real adventurers for a change. It's nice to know. Uh, it's nice to have someone who actually knows how to fight. Okay, so let's get our registration on the way. The fee is five hundred. That's a discount since you actually seem to be able to handle yourselves. Just so you know. Fantastic. Just let me write. J j let me just write down your details. All done. You're ready to. You ready to compete? Come and see me when you want to try your hand in a fight. Okay, let's try it. Fantastic, make sure you give it all you've got. Good luck. Oh no, permanent curse. Wow, I survived the soul purge. Dude. Well, that'll make things a little easier. Spirit Fiendish, I'm powering up. The Bill Tank shot. Feebling Cantrip. Strike. Tell this guy is no joke. How are you up? Mm, Sarah. Would Sarah be any good against you? Oh, I managed to inflict curse as well. Nice, nice. Toxic curse because you're kind of tanky. Holy crap. Silver bullet. Okay. Probably don't have that many weaknesses, though. Oh, never mind, you are. You're doomed. You are so screwed now. Six hundred experience. Wow, I can't believe you actually, uh, well, I mean, is what a great battle. The crowd here really enjoyed that one. Here's a reward. I'm a little worried that the first battle was a grudge holder. If you manage to win two more battles, you get a chance to take on the champion. Let me know when you're ready to fight again. I don't get all healed, so let's just go summon Demara a few times. Yeah. At least the curse got went, uh, effect went away. Okay, next. A robot permanent curse again, really? Oh no, the crit rate went up. It's not good. I don't even know if you're weak to anything, so I'm just gonna speed up someone like Gaius. Okay, so I already have summoned Damara, so summon Ishtar. You're a machine, so you must be weak to lightning. Debilitate. Oof. Shock bolt. Speed up, Astrid. You just casted that. Weirdo. Huh. Okay, summon Ishtar once more, but with more, even more power than before. Oh, nice, we stunned it. Debilitate. Vein. Shock bolt. Hmm. 
Turn on safety haze just in case. Even though this enemy looks like it mostly focuses on physicals. Ishtar once more. I lost my buff, but it'll be fine. Man, this thing is a little bit tanky. Study enemies. I have a feeling I'm going to see you in the future. Like in Technopolis. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's immune to everything. Jessica is probably not going to be too useful here. Oh shoot, I could steal stuff from you. Okay, maybe I should stay, keep you alive a bit. Okay, you're almost dead. Yes, machine. Wait, I already have that. Oh, it can stun. Yikes. Uh, I need to see if it has anything else I can steal, though. So let's block uh, for now. Hmm. Can I remove stun like this? No, I don't think so. Shoot, that's gonna... That's gonna take a while, I'll be right back. Nothing left to steal. The machine gun was pretty much all it had. There. Hopefully the crowd didn't mind me stalling at the end there. But you never know when I might need that... Uh, uh, those items. Do you even have an idea how much it costs to get that machine up and running? Not even Precursor Tech is a match for you. The crowd really enjoyed that one. Here's a reward. If you manage to win one more battle, you'll get a chance to take on the champ. Let me know when you're ready to fight again. Okay, but... It's kind of strange that I managed to get a permanent curse twice in a row back there. What's the bear? Let's see, let's see if I can s uh, steal anything good from the next one. No SP! Oh boy. This is really bad. Oh, crap. This thing is no joke. I might want to equip sleep resistance of some sort. This thing is OP as hell. Muddle? It literally has every status effect. This thing is the... Uh, and this is just a, a Zolom. This isn't even a champion. I don't even have any good... Oh, I feel like I'm playing this guy a little too early. Oh man, we need to get everyone up to and running. Spirit Fetish. Study. Ooh boy. We're gonna need you to group heal, Luca. This is bad. This guy is strong, but he's weak to cold and earth. If we can just use those, we have a chance. Hmm. Done. Crazed. Yeah, it's really immune to everything, isn't it? Nothing to steal. Got it. You just implosion the crap out of it. Oh, that's pretty good. It doesn't. It looks like I can kill it pretty quickly as long as I keep holding on. Luca. Summon Demara. Attacking would be too risky at our current in their current state.
Okay, no stealing, which means I better just speed up. So, uh, speed up my party members a bit. Okay. Build tank shot again. Ugh. But someone delayed the enemy. I don't know how. Quick linking. Summon Golem. Watch this. Ugh, just step on the enemy. Look at that. That's awesome. Now implosion. Oh no, he's doing it again. Antibiotic, I'm so glad I can use items here. Summon Golem, step on- squish him to death, pl please. This isn't even the champion. Zolom meat. Yum. You- you kill a Zolom like it was nothing. I can't think of anything else to say. I wouldn't say nothing. It still gave- it still uh, used a lot of status bombs. Speaking of which, I should probably get Astrid to learn her own status bomb at some point. The crowd really enjoyed that one. Here's a reward. That- yeah, that Zolom's version of Disease Breath is even stronger than the one we had in the previous game. You run the right to try your luck with the champ. When you're ready to fight, let me know. Oh, my status effects. Let me go cast Souping Light on everyone. Luca, you go summon some Damara. And let's see if we can kill that champion. I'll probably have to steal from the champion as well. Good thing Jessica has Rogue's cape equipped, but even then, I feel like the chances are kind of small. Champion is waiting for you, and the crowd is ready for an epic battle. Ready for a proper rumble? Fantastic. Make sure you give it your all. Good luck. Boss battle. Candy Cap, no SP again, really? I thought he was going to do a triple attack. Anyways, you need to... You start using Peptide on everyone. Ugh. Actually, Peptide on self, because Gaius can regen naturally, I think. I need to debilitate you. Ah! What time to miss? You there! Go feeble and cantrip him! We'll revive you if you die, somehow! There we go, that'll make him a lot weaker. Panel War! Heal! Oh, he can regen! That's bad! Recast Spirit Fetish. And he resists physicals. 50. We need some deal 50 for each tick. Nothing left to steal. Got it. But what are you weak to exactly? Malice? Oh, he's weak to dark. Sweet. We got this in the bag. This guy's- uh, this guy's got no ch defense against dark attacks. Unfortunately, Luca lacks any dark attacks whatsoever, so she'll have to do something else. I'm not gonna ever pro try to proc anything until we scan the boss properly. Now let's see, Ishtar will be useless, Jin will, will probably work, hopefully. Oh, you're weak to fire as well. Are you weak to everything? Wow, they really are. Damn, how does this guy make champion if he's so weak to everything? Weird. Oh, he can use other spells too, ow. Oof. Eeh. Ah. Sp 
speed up Gaius. Plain Bolt. He's almost dead. I'm not even level 20. I'm still kicking this guy's ass. Damn. Oh, oh should I, I should probably try that. He might have something else to steal. No, he didn't, did he? I think he had nothing left to steal. Yeah. So, a hander obtained. So, he did, get, he did give us a sword after all. That was, I don't think I've ever, you, you defeated the champion. That was an amazing battle. You guys are really something, you know that? With that said, I guess the grand prize is yours. Enjoy it because you deserve it. Sacred Mirror. It resists status effects. But it probably lowers my other stats too. Oh no, it has has no strings attached this time. Meaning it's perfect. Hmm. Could be useful on my uh, one cleric guy. Yeah. In case they run to another Zolom. And yes, all that was on difficulty free. Unbelievable. Really, I feel like I could have done that at a level earlier. Term is pretty much wrapped up for a year now. Good thing too. Only the crowd could handle any more awesome. Is anyone here going to acknowledge me? So you end up being the ones to snag that runecraft. But I overheard Scipio say the next year's prize will be even better. Right, with the champion out of the picture, next to you, the next year's prize will be mine for sure. That's if you beat me. Wow, what a battle. I never thought I'd see the champion brought down, but somehow you managed it. You've given the rest of us a reason to keep going. After seeing someone finally beat that guy, I'm convinced anything's possible. That armored dude was not really that powerful compared to Galahad. You might think paying men again- Okay, so it's the same thing. They don't acknowledge it. Not acknowledging my victory. I wonder if that increased anyone's- No, it did not. I thought, that was, uh, I thought fighting the Gear would have increased our bonds. Like in the Trails games and Xanadu game. Hey, looks like they really do show up at the end. You know what that means. More affection. When we fought the darkness in the weave, I thought it was the end for us. That we were to give our lives in servitude to Legion Wood. Then we were brought back from the brink of death and by the Dark Disciples, the enemies of Glacius, no less. Gaia must have more in store for us. We cannot give up now. Serious. We've been given a second chance to defeat the darkness once and for all. We have to fulfill our promise to Legion Wood. Don't ever, ever underestimate Gaia's divine wisdom. Everything in this world has a purpose. Yes, gotta get everyone up, especially you, Astrid. We've only been poor Alexis for a few days, and already there's so much we have to do. With everything going on, we really need to we need to make sure we focus on what really matters. Forget about the Order and the Lightbringers and what they want us to do for them. We'll search for the lore shards on our own terms. Don't worry, whatever happens, we're still the ones who get to see all the action. They just don't want us to get caught up in anything that will distract us from our real quest. We're not risking our lives for nothing. Almost a 20. All things considered, I'm pretty, uh, feeling pretty good to be back in the sea. Sure, we're being forced to do our people's dirty work and not sure who to trust, but hey. It's almost as if I'm back in the game again. Just me and my partners in crime uh, up against whatever Port Alexis throws at us. Sounds like my kind of town. I just can't wait to find out who wants to kill us here. Well, whatever happens, I'm ready. This is my playground now. Ugh, gotta get Astrid up a little bit more. Elwyn said there's always safety in- uh, Elwyn always said there's safety in numbers, but this city is filled with uncertainty. You can tell most of the people here are scared of the darkness, and Gaia knows what else. The tension between the Dark Disciples and the Lightbringers only seems to be making everything worse. Even if we don't want to pick a side, we're right in the middle of it. That's why we're here. We're the heroes this city's been waiting for. Whatever we do, we can't just do nothing. We have the pe chance to really change the lives of the people here. Let's make it count. Well, now that I think of it, most of our adventures in this episode have been taking place just near this one city. Well, the first episode had us go all over the place. No. 
It's too bad we can't revisit old areas anymore. I have a feeling you're gonna railroad us, unlike the previous two games, which at least allowed you to somewhat explore most of, uh, most of the uh, world back and forth. Hmm. Strangely still talking about it, even though we killed the boss down there. That's right, I have to give you the book I found in the arena. Wait, that was it? Hmm, it looks like that's the last of them. Really now? Nice. So, what's my prize? Here, take this as thanks for helping us find them all. It's a duplicate that I found while reorganizing the materials. Arcane Tome, yes! Many of the books were lost when the guild migrated from Entobon to Fleet of Darkness, but thanks to you, our library is complete once again. Yeah, do you hear that, guild master? Yeah, the guild master still kind of treats us like crap, even though we did all that work for him. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Heroes of Legionwood Resurrection, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.